Welcome to The Update, Soul Therapy's weekly news on Korean hip-hop and r and I'm your host, Liv. Before we dive into the video, to stay up to date with all our future K-hip-hop content, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you don't miss out. The concept photo shoot for Junie's upcoming single, Hide and Sick, has caught a lot of attention for all of the wrong reasons. He's pictured sitting on an Islamic prayer rug, a deeply important item to the religion that shouldn't be used for aesthetic purposes like this. The image has been deleted since many on Twitter pointed out that it shouldn't be used as a prop, and a statement was issued by Junie's company, Marv, apologizing for the oversight and assuring fans that all future videos and content have been revised to remove it. Yamda has been under a lot of fire these past few days for several things. As he's currently a judge on Show Me The Money 10, netizens and the hip-hop community have doubted his qualifications as a judge, as it seems his words don't always match his actions. He was first called out for being rude and disrespectful to contestants, as his harsh words weren't accompanied by constructive criticism, nor by suggestions for improvement. Secondly, Yamda's judgement or lack thereof had first been under fire when he let Che Sung Hyung, who forgot his lyrics for 30 seconds in the 60 second round, and cursed during his blackout pass. Though he originally said that he and Toyol let the rapper pass by accident, Yamda proudly announced that Che Sung Hyung was his pick in the rap battle round against North Face God. Though this had already sparked heated discussions online, the tip of the iceberg was when Yamda chose Son Min Young over rappers like Kits Yoji, Pulik or Sani. He defended his decision by saying he sees potential in the kid and wants to give him a chance. Videos featuring the judge received enormous amounts of negative responses with comments talking about Yamda's image hitting rock bottom at the moment. But not only Yamda has met with harsh criticism right now, the young rapper Son Min Young is also under fire. To give netizens hell, Yamda responded to the situation by showing off his earnings of merchandise he dropped recently. He posted a picture saying he made more than 184 million won in just a day. Yamda was then called out again, this time for his merch, for which he used the copyrighted artwork by digital artist Corinna Marin for his Doge merchandise without giving credit to the artist. Corinna posted on her story saying she would have happily collaborated with him, to which he acknowledged her ownership of the work, apologised and said he will get the issue resolved as soon as possible. He proceeded to give her all of the copyright money, to which Corinna said that he was easy to deal with and very understanding. Yamda then bought more than 13 Ethereum for more than 64k of artwork from the artist in a bid. This week seemed to be a tough one for Yamda, as he's also been involved in yet another feud. Last week, Yamda's label Daytona Entertainment signed two new artists, ex-high school rapper full contestant Hey Yon and Touch the Sky. Heyon's first album under his new label featured the song Mamda Yamda, in which Yamda mentions Mummy Sun and talks about a slave contract. These lyrics alludes to the terms of Mummy Sun's label Beautiful Noise, to which both Heyon and Touch the Sky were formally signed to. Mummy Sun took to Instagram and YouTube to not only express his thoughts on the accusations, but to also lay out how his label handles profit distributions and to explain why Heyon and Touch the Sky's contracts foresaw a profit distribution of 60 40 in favour of the company instead of the 70-30 other artists of the label received. In the video, Mummy Sun explained that the reason why Heyon and Touch the Sky were paid less than other artists of Beautiful Noise is that both were signed to the label when they were only middle schoolers. As both weren't well-known names to the public back then and both artists needed support in developing their skills, they were offered the mentioned 4-6 ratio. He also clarified that profit wasn't even relevant back then as neither of the two artists made any significant profit. Mummy Sun also stated that both Heyon and Touch the Sky were were also granted not only support but also full access to the studios to work on their music. Mummy Sun further pointed out that Yamda took the kids away from his label after they appeared on High School Rapper and had garnered more fans. Allegedly, the contract termination didn't happen through Yamda's label Daytona Entertainment. Instead, he supposedly poached the two young rappers and made them ask for a contract termination. When they both left the label, Mummy Sun wished both of them the best for the future and didn't charge early termination fees. Not wanting for Heyon and Touch the Sky to be involved in the feud, Mummy Sun still allowed the artists of his label to feature on songs by artists of Daytona Entertainment. He ended by announcing that he'd sell t-shirts in the future and that he's preparing a diss track called Suflex to respond to Yamda's lyrics. Yamda then responded to the YouTube video that Mummy Sun made, speaking about the points mentioned in his Instagram story and calling Yamda out on acting like a child, saying that he doesn't act like an adult but he's asking everyone to treat Heyon and Touch the Sky not as children. Following Mummy Sun's video, Touch the Sky took to Instagram after asking the public to stay neutral in the situation and to not take sides. 
Esquire Korea announced a new YouTube series titled Best FIFA 22 Artist Player in which Korean hip-hop artists will play the video game against each other to see who will come out on top. The players will be Big Naughty, Cold Kunst, Nuk Sal, Wu Won Jae, BTOB's Lee Min Yuk, SF9's Dawan, Ha Song Woo and Lay One and the show will premiere every Wednesday and Friday on their YouTube channel. Who do you think is going to take the win? Cold's label Wavy has signed singer Milena and she dropped her first single Midnight Train with them this week. She's been working independently and producing for other artists up until now including the track Push Off by Daul, Unne and Kaki. The iconic music video for Mome by J Park and Ugly Duck that shook Korea to its core has surpassed 100 million views on YouTube this week. J Park celebrated with a post on Instagram thanking everyone for their support. Daytona Records CEO The Quiet is now officially sponsored by Monster Energy and he will be in an advertising campaign for them soon. Tiger JK and BB join Nicky, Rich Brian and other 88 Rising artists on the cover of the fourth issue of Rolling Stone Korea titled Our Time, Asia Rising Together. This edition of the magazine covers the growth and development of various Asian artists that are making a name for themselves across the globe. This has been the update. Don't forget to like, share and comment telling us what you thought about this week's news. I'll see you next week.